anterior segment surgeons and optometrists alike always want to know what it's like to remove a dropped lens from the back of an eye. I know this is a really devastating complication in most people's minds, but when referred promptly and managed appropriately, these patients can do absolutely really, really well. And I'll show you how we take care of this. So first of all, we always take the conjunctiva down if there's majority of the lens fragments there in order to allow us to get a fragmentome in the eye. So you can see this patient, first of all, kudos to the cataract surgeon, got a well-placed sulcus IOL in position. We're always going to start out with a vitrectomy. We're going to clear our visual axis behind the lens, remove any peripheral cortical material while making sure to avoid disrupting that lens or destabilizing that lens. And then we'll get into the back here and we'll do a core vitrectomy. If there's already a vitreous separation, great. If not, we'll induce a PVD before we get the fragmentome in the eye. And you can see we got a lot of cortex out, but at this point, it's a big old piece of nucleus back there, almost the entire lens. So we'll remove our 25 gauge cannula and we'll open this sclerotomy up to incorporate a 20 gauge fragmentome. And I sped this up uh, just about twofold just to get through it here, but I wanted you to see an unedited version of us removing the lens fragments and just really how efficient this can be. We wanna turn the power down so that we don't have a lot of the um, nuclear remnants kind of shooting off of the tip. And you'll carve through a part of the nucleus and then the other fragments will kind of float away. You can see right now when the things, uh, the fragments are floating around very rapidly, once again, part of that's enhanced because this video is sped up, uh, but it's really just because we're aspirating. And the real key is to have the vitreous removed. I like to set my foot pedal on momentary so that I can actually press down on the foot pedal and aspirate with no fragmentation power. Um, and that allows me to go back and engage these pieces of nucleus off of the retina, pull them up into the mid vitreous cavity, and then turn on the fragmentation power uh, with a pulse rate of eight. Usually I start at about a power of 10 to 15 and amp it up as needed. After this case is over, we always want to do a depressed peripheral examination to make sure there's no retinal breaks or tears. Close our sclerotomies and we're done. Thanks for watching.